Welcome again. I'm here with Inkiru Balamu, uh, the MD of Spinlet, and also our first chick on <laughs> Tech Talks. Chick. <laughs> uh, tech chick. And uh, my new friend. So, Inkiru, welcome to uh, Tech Talks. Thank you. Thank uh, you. You know, I just downloaded, as I was coming today, I was thinking Spinlet, Spinlet, Spinlet. Let me see if they're, first of all, let me check if they passed the, the geek test. Yeah. So I went to um, on the iOS, downloaded, I saw spin, type Spinlet, downloaded, Android, downloaded. So I haven't tried them, the Microsoft but you've yet. So but you've done, so you're a customer. So, yeah, yeah I'm, a custom, I'm a customer, I'm downloaded now. So, you so, will be a happy customer, so by tell the me, way. So why, I mean like, the Spinlet, the Apple Music, the Apple Music I just launched, and, Return, and then the Spotify, which is actually my favorite. So why would I like Spinlet when I start using it, when I, when I sign Because I was thinking about you. We, Spinlet, we were thinking about you and your needs in the way that Apple Music has never considered you. They don't even know you exist, sorry. You know, so at, we, at Spinlet, we know that Africans exist. We know that there's African taste in music and we cater to that. So that's why you would sort of like enjoy using our platform more than perhaps you would enjoy using Apple, maybe. So, so do you have all those, you know, those features that are, oh yeah, okay. There's the music, but there's also that, you, you know, there's the curation, Yes, that's actually music. what we that's actually okay. what we do pretty well. Like curation is we've just sort of um, upgraded our website. So if you go to the new website, you'll find that we're better curated. We're sort of target up uh, target market is um, Africans in Africa and Africans in the diaspora. So we sort of do a lot of things to target them and curation is one of the things we do well. As you say, as you you know, uh, Apple Music might have some stuff that we have, but the point is that we're tailoring our you know our platform to African tastes. So tell me, my favorite question, how many customers do you have? We have almost two million downloads of the of, of the app. Two million downloads. Yeah, yes. Of the and app. yes. Okay. So, do you monitor how many people use that app? So on a daily basis, how many people? Well, we have a, we, on a daily basis now. We know we have about a thousand five hundred people downloading the app. So we have streaming and downloading. So um, in terms of streaming, like we have thousands and thousands of streams, and we're obviously trying to get our subscriber base to actually increase. Now, maybe I'm in the wrong place in the wrong, at the wrong time, but how come I don't hear so much about Spinlet, um, Spinlet in the Nigerian market? But I am here. I'm here because you yeah. heard about us. Yeah, so, I know. Um... Exactly. <laughs> but, but how come so I don't see, in terms of when I go, I don't see um, any association with Spinlet? Well, we are, um, we've been around for three years. We put up our paywall three years ago. And one of the things we're doing now is sort of like, we had to make sure that we had a great product. We didn't want to sort of like go around making a lot of noise about the product. And then if you came to use us, then you'd have problems. So now we know we have a great, great product. So I think check out 2016, we're going to be everywhere. We're every, I mean, we're everywhere now. And we're constantly, you know, doing partnerships, doing businesses with different people and integrating with telcos, integrating with banks even. So I think in the 2016, you see and hear more about Spinlet. So, uh, so what's your pricing model? How do you how, so how, how do you make money? How do you pay your how, how do you pay your salary? <laughs> <laughs> how do you justify your existence? How do we justify your existence? <laughs> numbers, yeah. numbers. So we do both downloading and streaming. So you can download and for for a price, and you can clearly stream for a subscription. So we have a one week subscription and one month subscription, and we're available anywhere in the world. So you can access the platform um, anywhere in the world and if you want to actually then just buy a song or buy, buy a track, buy an album, you can also do that. So our, our model is both downloading and um, subscription. We also have a freemium model which is like you don't have to actually um, subscribe. So that's interrupted by ads and so through advertisements we'll also make money. So, um... And I hope you'll be one of our customers very soon. I'm sure you will. As soon as we this discussion. So do, do you have any challenge with payment? Um, uh, so, what is the ideal payment? So, yeah, for, good. So, you have customers in, in fact, you're one of those people who should market because you have, I'm sure you have foreign currency payments have, as well. We have, we have, exactly. We have. So, I'm sure your, your payments um, outside Nigeria are much easier than your payments in Nigeria. Correct me if I'm wrong. You're totally, yeah. I mean, clearly, yeah. you're totally correct. Um, our payments in Nigeria and on, on the continent have been pretty difficult. Uh, in fact, probably one of our um, more serious challenges is payments. Obviously, people don't have uh, um, internet and bandwidth, that's a different matter. But in terms of payment, we find that to be a serious challenge for us, particularly in Nigeria. 
outside Nigeria it's much more um, easy. Yes, we have we use PayPal and we use um, um, uh, a, a, like a, a bank platform. But in Nigeria, we uh, maybe I can say InterSwit. We use InterSwit. Um, we've now integrated with um, one bank. We've just gotten MIGS. Um, I don't know if you know what you clearly yes, you know, know what MIGS know, is. Mig's um, but it's been really sort of like a challenging process in getting payments. It would be great to have more payment options or at least have um, uh, uh, payment options that didn't fail because like uh, there's a high um, failure rate in payment so I think you know when you have like um, for example MTN does that 737 those kind of things so if the banks if we, we're trying to also integrate directly with, with banks so we just don't want integration with a bank so that customers um, or say a diamond bank would then sort so of just pay. Just keep diamond bank. Don't <laughs> yeah. say bank. Just yeah, keep yeah. diamond bank. Yeah. So customers of diamond bank would be able to pay directly through um, diamond bank to access Finlet. So we actually did a, um, a white label for that. For, for example, we could do a white label for diamond mm -hmm. bank yep. and then integrate directly, and that was sort, sort of payment model for diamond bank uh, customers. But you're totally right in noticing that payments is actually a, um, the crux of the matter. In five years' time, where's Finlet going to be? In five years' time, we're going to just be doing a lot better. We're going to have the numbers, payments going to be fixed, um, bandwidth is going to be fixed, and we also think clearly the culture of music buying and piracy, that's also an issue, but that we, we noticed that that's actually slowly but surely getting better. So, I mean, if you're doing your job well, then clearly payments going to be fixed, right? And so... <laughs> <laughs> it's already fixed. You haven't, you haven't, you haven't been to the right bank yet. Right? Well, you know what? Like, we're, yeah, we're coming. We're, that, we're definitely partnering yeah, with Diamond yeah. Bank on this because we really think that people are people are interested in music. People are interested in culture. People are interested in entertainment. It's a, it's definitely it changes the world and the way we think. And we think that if people had more access and were able to pay, the whole piracy issue would be less of a problem. And so, in five years' time, we think that all that, if Nigeria is doing what it should be doing, we should be on the same level as anywhere else in the world. Okay, so last question for me. So, let's say payments improve. Let's say the cost of band, uh, data improves. Aren't you going to start encroaching into um, territories like Iroko's T? Iroko, because you're only doing music right now. Are you going to be doing, do you do uh, music videos? We actually video? are not only doing music. Okay. We actually, uh, we do um, videos as well. We produce content, our own content. So, I think the likes of Iroko TV, we, I think we need ourselves, we need each other. I think I'm very happy for the competition because competition makes you do better. But also because it's a very young industry, you actually need I need an Iroko TV to survive and Iroko TV or Iroking Music or any other platforms need me to survive because we are sort of educating the market, uh, training the market on how to use the product. E-commerce is very young in Nigeria and only, it's just like a supermarket. In the beginning, only people went to only markets. They thought market was um, uh, much cheaper. Then you have ShopRite now, you have all those people coming in and they're finding that you can actually get great stuff from the um, supermarkets. Sort of thing, you have to train the market to actually come to you and use your product. So the Iro Kings of this world, Iroko TV and all similar platforms, we're actually are happy for them to be here because we learn from you know their mistakes and we learn from the things that they've done very well and I think there's enough space for everything in Nigeria we have 160 million 170 million there's enough space for everyone to do well so how come I mean interesting how come I don't hear maybe how Jason doesn't want us to survive <laughs> but <laughs> so how come you know, how come I'm surprised you know like you know you don't have people like you know the and that lot right actually promoting spinlet, i-rocking music and, I, I, and shouting it out for free because really and truly, I mean, I see their music on Apple Music where they're getting less of the revenues than they would get if they, for, for example, partnered with the spinlet and that access was through, through a Nigerian company as well. I think you're, you know, you've hit it right yeah. on the head and that's one of the challenges we have, but that's what I'm intent on fixing 2016. I think the attitude of the industry to the platforms that exist is really, it's, uh, I, I have no idea what to call it. I don't know if it's a complex, I don't know what it is, but or it's maybe, something Maybe we, they just don't know. Maybe they no, don't they know. do yeah. know actually. Really? But it's sort of like you're happy to give iTunes your music or you're happy to give Spotify your music. In fact, there's iTunes and Spotify in, in Nigeria now, right? And now that you mentioned this, we just had a case where um, someone said, you can't give the music to Spinlet, 
but because they want to have like exclusivity in Nigeria. But the music is available via iTunes and Spotify in Nigeria. So the so I think the whole what we're Jason and I and companies like us are dealing with is having to sort of also fight, you know, firefight the industry. But I think also it's on us, the onus is on us to educate, to you know be patient. We believe strongly that these things are going to change. They're going to become more, um, you know, like Americans are very, you know, for us, by us. And I think we'll have to train the African market to actually also be, this is our own. You need to support the growth of your industry. And I think very so, hopeful about so that. Have you spoken to someone like Don Jazzy about it? <laughs> have you met Don Jazzy? I haven't met him yet. Have I met him yet? Sure. I met him in a distance. I'm like, hi, okay, don't I, I, hey, I exist. Please yeah. notice me. You know, the next time I see him, I want to ask him. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah please uh, do. Yeah. And I I will, I uh, you're going to be like a, 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 a ambassador. An ambassador. Yes, exactly. you know, sort would of I like get, asking would the would same. I get free? Would I get free? Uh, free, free subscription for the, all your customers. For, for, for you know, for your uh, customers and for your um, staff. We're happy to do that. Let's talk. That's a, that's a, a nice point to wrap up before you change your mind. Thank you very much, Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.